All right, this is our last lesson for solving linear equations. Uh, it's literal equations, and this is something that's very difficult for students initially. They don't like it. And I'm not asking you to solve for x. I'm not necessarily asking you to solve for y. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm replacing most of the coefficients with variables, and some of the constants with variables too, pardon and I want you to solve for a particular variable. Now all of a sudden, since most of the numbers are gone, students get flustered and they don't know what to do. But just keep in mind that you just follow the objective and you will be fine for the most part. You will be. But it does take practice. It is something that not everybody gets right away. And it's something that you see more in physics, chemistry, when you're, when you're dealing with uh, formulas. You know, distance equals velocity over time. V, well, there's plenty of them to say the least. So with that said, we're going to solve for x in this first problem, which means we're going to get x by itself. I'm not, I'm not trying to figure out that x is 8 or x is 10 or x is 15. I'm just trying to get x by itself. That's what solve for x means in a literal equation. It just means get it by itself. Well, let's start by getting it by itself. Is it by itself? The answer is no. It's with an a and it's with a b. But I want to make sure that everything that x isn't with automatically is gotten rid of. So we're going to do that. We're going to worry about the a last, because if we divide by a, we have to divide this by a, this by a, and this by a. We're not going to do that just yet. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this term, because it's not a like term. Just going to quietly move it over. Whether or not, whether or not it wants to move, just kind of shove it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Et cetera. So this is a positive b. I'm going to subtract b on both sides. There is no like term that it combines with, so it's a little confusing for students. b minus b. 0 cancels. I have ax equals c subtracted b. What do I want to solve for? What do I want to get by itself? x. Okay. Divide by a. Because there's a multiplication in between there. What I do on one, I do on the other. a is canceled. They become 1. 1x or x. x equals, now I'm going to show you a sophisticated way to do it. There's one denominator, and I've shown you this before. You can't do it when there's two denominators, but you can do it when it's one. You have c over a, and then negative divided by positive is negative b over a. And that's your answer. You could also leave it as x equals c minus b over a. Both answers would be constituted as right, and I wouldn't mark it off if I was your teacher, but it depends on who your particular teacher is. If they stress this, then you do this. If they don't stress either one, you'd probably be fine. But I just want to show you both, either one. This one you want to solve for y, so you want to get y by itself. Okay, y has a 2 and it has a 3x there. We're not going to get rid of the 2 yet, we're going to get rid of the 3x. I'm not looking at that. What is that? It doesn't have an operate, it doesn't have a... Um, a plus or a minus in front of it, so we automatically assume it's positive. How do we get rid of a positive 3x? We subtract 3x. Can you strip one, please pick up 8700. Andy, please pick up 8700. That was an interesting interruption. I believe that was actually the second time with the suspenders on. So I subtract 3x from one side of the equation, but what I do on one side, I do on the other. 3x's cancel out, becomes 0. Not x, not 1, 0. And I'm left with 2y equals 8 minus 3x. It's not 5x, it's not 5, it's 8 minus 3x. You can't combine them because one is an x, the other is just a constant. Now, I want to get y by itself, so I divide by 2. But what I do on one side, I do on the other. And my answer is y equals 8 minus 3x over 2, but I could also take each numerator and divide by a denominator. This answer will suffice though. I have y equals 8 divided by 2 is 4, and negative divided by positive is negative, and then 3x over 2. So both answers will work as you can see. Other than that, that's about all we have for today. That's literal equations. I hope that was helpful. Have a great day. Goodbye.